Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Almaty, which is the former capital city of Kazakhstan. Currently, the city called Astana is the capital city. And I'm enjoying this beautiful day here. And today is my actually, I think, fourth day. First few days I've been taking relaxing time for myself and now it's time to explore the city and also get the chance to show you another beautiful country in Central Asia. I've been to Kyrgyzstan before this. I've been running my uh, Kyrgyzstan expedition with my groups and right now we are here in Almaty and I have the pleasure to show you around and show you how beautiful is it, how clean is it. So less birds more showing guys i just arrived to this nice square and we have a mr abai's uh, statue in front of us there's a fountain in the distance and also uh, just behind me there is a street where the cars are traveling on the other side uh, i think this building is supposed to be the university it's called caspian university and they also have the exit system to pass to the other side of the road. As you can see, very clean, very organized. They also have got these uh, scooters here too, to travel around the city. And uh, one of the main objectives for this video is to go for a cable car experience, which is just on the right side, at least the beginning of it. And it's called Kuk Tobe. And that's where we're gonna head in a few minutes to take the chance to go to upstairs. It might be quite busy. I can see already huge lines there, but uh, we will see how it works out. If it's too busy, we might come uh, another time to check it out. We have some nicely looking building on the left side too. It doesn't look new, but it looks uh, very elegant. And the fountain system is working. Today is actually Saturday which means uh, lots of people are on a day off from work and from school. That's the reason the parks are a little bit more busy. And uh, Kazakhstan is the ninth largest country in the world and has around 20 million population and 2 million of the population actually living in this city. Probably the numbers are much bigger right now, more than 2 million in Almaty since there's uh, lots of immigration too from other countries. People come to seek opportunities for work in, in, the, in, the, in the city. I can see it's super crazy and busy. There's a huge line for the cable car experience. But uh, you might do something else and then afterwards uh, Maybe ne tomorrow or the next day come for the experience. So yeah, so far I've been having a good time in Kazakhstan. At least uh, where I am, the area is super modern and uh, very clean. That's I cannot uh, emphasize enough how clean is the city. I'm literally very surprised with the seeing it this way and yeah it's been a quite fun days i have been to bazaars and exploring around the almaty and uh, most of the around the city you can find little parts like here with the fountains and everything all right we might uh, go wait in the line i think that would be one way to get it done I'm sure the line will be quite fast. Maybe in other countries like Nepal, for example, I got a special permission because I was a tourist and uh, you pay a little bit extra, of course, and then they let you go uh, much earlier than other people, which I'm not uh, liking the idea in general uh, because it makes me feel awkward because other people are waiting and then you have to go. But I'm not expecting same gonna happen here. I'm sure uh, they're receiving lots of guests here. Wow, that's a huge line.
very busy with the kids and everyone. And some people go without the line. All right, I'm just uh, making a decision right now. If should I wait for the experience or just come another time? I normally don't like the crowds, so we might take the opportunity to come actually another time. So there will be another video showing you whole uh, cable car experience. Probably during the week I should try that, so to get a mo more chance to see around. So I will uh, make other plans to take you different part of the city and continue the rest of this video from there. So I will see you just in few seconds. I just arrived to a new location since the cable car was quite busy I'm taking you to one of the iconic places in the city which happens to be the cathedral so we are going to visit a church which is uh, over 100 years old and uh, from the maps it looks like the cathedral itself is surrounded by a big park and I'm expecting the park to be also quite busy so as soon as we arrive we have a gigantic columns welcoming us on the both sides there's a buildings probably some government places or some businesses and i can see a huge statue just in front of us too and then behind that is the cathedral right there and the uh, name of the cathedral is called Zenkov's Cathedral. That's the name of the place. And it, as I mentioned, it's uh, over 100 years old. Been finalized in the beginning of uh, 20th century. Wow. As I mentioned, there's a huge uh, park around. Wow, this park is amazing. We have uh, lots of statues. I believe this is gonna be something about the, the war. We can see the 1945 Second World War and 1720 which is a uh, different wow we are surrounded these beautiful buildings around us incredible place and this restaurant or whatever is that looks also very very beautiful and someone is getting married how cool is that we get the chance to witness witness the occasion and there's a fire going on just in the middle. Wow, I need to take some pictures here. Just for myself, for Instagram. Let's do that together. Beautiful. Wow, this statue is huge and it's massive and also very very detailed I can see multiple faces there Ooh, that's cool that's cool we are witnessing something really cool all right as you can see it's quite clean and I'm lucky that to have a nice weather too, which gives me better opportunity to explore and show you around the city. I can already see ice cream stands on the left. And uh, some drinks you can get. There are some people are playing games. And this is the 
another part of the park and this is the behind of the statue which we are looking at it's amazing and the cathedral is opening up slowly just between all these trees look at this look at the colors looks uh, incredible Woo. and this is a Russian Orthodox Church I'm not sure if we're gonna get a chance to go inside the church but we might try our chances first we have to find where we're gonna enter to the place and on the right side seems like there are horse ridings and kids are playing quite a livelihood ah, horse riding hello <laughs> and uh, i've been to kyrgyzstan recently so we've been doing lots of horse ridings which has been an incredible experience and in this region they ride the horses, they eat the horses, as well as uh, it's a very huge part of uh, culture, traditions and overall lifestyle here because horses takes a big part in people's life to carry stuff from place to place as transportation and uh, many more as well as they use their milk, their meat and their power and of course uh, they are very well respected animals. So we have also ponies here too, small horses if you want to go for a ride. We have even a tank here, the gentleman is uh, controlling the small kid on the tank. And these are the views to the cathedral itself, we might go around, first let's check this place out to see what we have here. We see lots of pigeons, so it's mainly attracting uh, kids here to purchase some gifts and play with the birds ride horse and also gonna go on a ride in this small cars here okay let me show you the cathedral again look at this looks massive and so beautiful all these colors are popping and you can see the top of the church as well with the golden colors and uh, on the internet I read that this is actually the second highest uh, wood uh, structure in the world but to me it looks like a, just a normal brick building it's possible maybe the inside of it is from the wood I'm not so sure if you have any information, I would be gladly receiving it. So yeah, some people taking pictures, feeding the birds. Might be the entrance from the left side, so we're gonna take our chances to see. Tomorrow gonna be Sunday, so if it's not, I don't expect it to be closed, but if it's closed, then tomorrow would be the day to visit the cathedral from outside impressions are great for sure ah, look at this pony here hi pony you are okay someone parked him right there and I'm also wearing shorts normally shorts are not the best idea to go to the religious places but it's quite warm here so only thing I know about the churches is that you have to take your hat off so whenever whatever type of hat you have as a man and opposite sex uh, the ladies have to ever actually cover their hair so we are super lucky that it's open as I wasn't expecting it to be closed but there was a chance this is the entrance of it look how massive and how beautiful is it Okay, we're gonna go inside and check out. We do our part, take our hat off.
All right, that was a very quiet part of the vlog. But as you could hear that it was super quiet, so I try to keep it as respectful as possible. Not to talk to myself, especially while everyone is praying and taking their time to enjoy the place and do their prayers. It's incredible. I love uh, all the religious places because so much art goes into such a places, including mosques, uh, churches and temples, even the Hindu temples and Buddhist temples. There's so much artwork goes inside that religious places that makes it such a beautiful places, so relaxing and energy is so huge in any religious places. Uh, so churches are not different. The amount of artwork and drawings and details, attention to detail is just incredible. Not only inside, but as you can see from the outside, this is how the church looks like. Incredible place and highly recommend if you are in Kazakhstan, in Almaty, come check it out. One of the things you notice when you are wandering around in Almaty is that how quiet is the city. Like there is no music comes out from the cafes, restaurants, no loud music from anywhere, any businesses. And everyone is super respectful and nicely, everyone talking very quiet too. So the civilization is in another level here in this country, which I really, really appreciate. And another thing, uh, based on my research and based on how many days I have been here, uh, since the tourism is not in a high level, there is also no, like you cannot really find about uh, scams or stuff like that because uh, there is no demand and there is no supply for it too. So which makes it super comfortable to walk around and you don't have to worry about anything no one bothers you, no one asks you for anything. Also the level of the beggars, like no one really asking for money or anything. So I'm uh, very comfortable to walk around and also highly recommend if you are a female traveler, if you want to come and enjoy the country, enjoy at least the city, Almaty, you will be very, very comfortable. The transportation system, taxi systems, everything is quite well organized and uh, when you're in the city center people actually do speak English so which makes it more comfortable for you and from the safety perspective which is the most important thing for most of the female travelers so you will definitely be safe but of course be cautious and also learn some uh, basic Russian language and Russian words which will help you to be more comfortable than uh, uh, before before you come I'm uh, looking for a specific uh, street right now where they sell some artwork and I think it's called Arbat I believe it's the name of the street and I'm looking for that street specifically to see if you can find any artwork and some artists possibly do some business with them so we'll see I think it should be somewhere here or maybe we are already here, but I cannot really see the artist or other people. This is uh, my surroundings. I think this is the shopping mall on the left. I can see lots of different brands. But it's possible we have to actually cross uh, to the other side of the street to get where we need to get. This gentleman has a very unique style of lifting stuff. Maybe, maybe we can ask. Assalamualaikum. Знаешь, где это Арбат улица? Арбат она есть вот это. Это здесь? Ты головоглазый парень. Да, Рахмат, thank you, thank you. Алика. Я в Азербайджан. Азербайджан? Да. 
я тебе твою руку поцелую, как Эрдогана поцелую. Мы казаки, мы казаки всегда вам тоже благодарны. Эрдоган турецкий, но Азербайджан. Я, я казах, люблю вас, э, тюрков. Тюрк, все тюрк, да. Ахмад. Турцию обожаю, да. Thank you. И Эрдоган вас всех Турцию. Thank you, Рахмат. Okay. Аллах разу Thank you. Yeah. Так, что, какие проблемы будут, скажи. Без проблем, Рахмат. Yeah. Без проблем, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ассаламу алейкум, брат. Как вы? Вы good? Вы говорите английский? Да. Nice, ассаламу алейкум. How are you guys? Are you a videographer? Yes, I'm, uh, I'm making YouTube vlogs. Uh, you I'm looking for a... Yes, it's my fourth day here and I want to share my impressions from the country. I'm looking for a street Arbat. Is this the Arbat? It is. Ah, this okay. Is Do you know where is the... Like, uh, paintings, artists? Artists. It's in the front? Yes, yes. Ah, it's okay. Uh, 100 meters. All right. And what's, uh, what's your job? You live here? I'm sales manager. Sales manager, nice. Yes, I work over there. Nice. Uh, my office is approximately 300 meters. Amazing. And like, you are from Almaty? Yes, I'm from Almaty. Amazing. Beautiful city, man. I've been, I've been talking that how clean is it. It's super clean and very quiet. Is it your first time in Kazakhstan? Yes, first time in Kazakhstan. But I've been to Kyrgyzstan a few days ago and just arrived here and going to Tajikistan next. Uh, so. You're from Turkey, yes. Azerbaijan. Uh, Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan, yes. But uh, we are all Turk. We are ethnically Turk, all of us. So, yeah. So, are you like, uh, how many subscribers do you have? I have, uh, I think, currently 350. 350? Thousand. Thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to be humble. <laughs> and what, what's your name? My name is Ibek. Ibek. I'm surprised that uh, many people speak good English here, yes. which uh, makes me comfortable. And I'm telling to people that they should come and they can uh, be very comfortable as well, like speaking to locals and finding their way. Taxi system is great. I haven't been to your metro, but I will try it out today, tomorrow. Yes. Uh, Have you been in Medeu, Sumbulak? No, I haven't no. been yet. You should visit the yeah, I just been to Green Bazaar. <laughs> Green, Bazaar <laughs> Green Bazaar is my favorite so far in Almaty. It's uh, this guy is my co-workers. Ah, co-workers. Okay, yes. you are going for a walk. Yes, uh, we had lunch together. Ah, nice. So today is a day off. No, we are working. Ah. Uh, like, uh, are you working now? Saturday? Yes. Sometimes ah. we work. Ah, interesting. Yes. It's so, like, uh, lazy work. Lazy work. Yes. Easy, easy work. Easy. Yeah, today is easy. And tomorrow you are off completely? Uh, we, uh, we, we sell ice cream machines. So yeah. now, it's, right now it's like... It's the best season? Best season. To sell so the ice cream we machines? We have no day off. Okay, very nice. Yeah, oh, is, uh, uh, street artist. How nice. can I find you in YouTube? Uh, I give you my name, brother. Okay. My name is Davud. Uh, so all the street artists are in this street? Dawood? Dawood, yes. Uh, no, with uh, V-U-D. V, no, V-U... V-U-D? Yeah, second one. You have it. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice to meet you. What was your name? Ibek. Ibek, Dawood. Yes. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Assalamu -bye. alaikum. All right, we have some uh, street artists here. And it seems like a very lively place. This is exactly what I was looking for. Place uh, to buy some um, paintings. We can uh, try to contribute to the business. But first, we're gonna just explore and see. Wow, look at this, they're dancing too. And we also have a sign here. Jibek Jalu. That's the walking street. And Kuchasi means uh, street. In, uh, in Azerbaijanian it's similar, Kuche. And uh, in Kazakhi it's uh, similar, Koshesi. Ah, it's a Koshesi, not the street. So Koshesi can be like a corner or can be, I think, street too. So very similar language. And they are dancing too. Wow, very, very artistic city. I love it. As you can hear, guys, it's like super quiet. You can wander around as you like, sit down in these big chairs. If you wanna go for a shopping, there are all these uh, streets for shopping. 
You want to get some snacks. I'm sure soon we're going to come across some uh, ice cream people, ice cream machines and stuff. Thank you. Taking my picture? I take your video, I you take my picture. <laughs> That's nice. How much? Skolka? Pizzot. Pizzot. No, no, no. no, no. Ah, pso? Da. Bešus? Yeah. Okay. After that, uh, what's up? Uh, Android or iOS? iPhone, iPhone. Oh, okay. Come in. No, no, no. Ah, for you. Thank you. Let's get iPhone. Let's get the telephone. Yeah? Wait. YouTube is filmed. YouTube, was... YouTube TikTok? Uh, it's a YouTube, TikTok, Potom, Instagram, uh, everything here. It's gonna transfer it to my phone. This is your job? Ah, this is TikTok? Are yes. you recording? TikTok, YouTube. Ah, nice. I, you, me too. I'm also making YouTube and TikTok. I am street photographer and nice. wedding photographer. Nice. Nice. That's a, it's a good job. You make good money. Wow, that was very fast. Look at these pictures. Black and white. <laughs> Ah, this 20. is a uh, ah, 20. Okay, okay. Very nice. Well done, brother. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice to meet you. Спасибо. Давуд, Рахмат. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Очень приятно. Bye bye. Wow, that was very fast. We got our pictures done without getting asked, and uh, he just transferred me in a few seconds, and now it's on my phone. He asked for uh, 500. I don't know how much is that exactly, uh, but it's not so much. It's actually one dollar. So he was asking me for one dollar, and I gave him uh, two thousand, which is almost four point five dollars. The fountains right here, Kazakh Telecom, and some old Soviet-style building looks uh, from the movies or looks like from some cartoon wow should be very very old and uh, you, if you've been watching my other videos from kazakhstan you notice that uh, there are actually so many uh, fountains and it's actually very similar in my country too in uzbekistan in azerbaijan in my country and in, in general all the post-soviet countries uh, for some reason they have lots of fountains and uh, it's normally in the parks where you can just hang around and uh, listen to the sound of the water. And also it's uh, good for cooling during the hot days uh, when you are in the park. I love this street, it's amazing. I think I should go a little bit backwards because we might uh, come back to here later. But I want to go see the street artists if we find some kazakhstan related uh, drawing or something i would be gladly purchasing something as a memory but it should be really something small so we're gonna see there's also it's kind of like a game or something i guess i'm just like rotating it and then there's a mirror you can just look at yourself And the artist street is just on the left side. I, I love this. Imagine having a kid, imagine having your family here. Just take them for a walk. Making like you are sure that it's 100% safe. There are no cars, there are no tuk-tuks. Nothing like that that is a danger for your family, for your kids, and you can have a relaxing time in the park, get some ice cream, some snacks, which is great. Seems like there's a coffee place called Moz or Moos. And then here we have the street artists. Let's see what they have, how much they sell for, and what we can find. Wow, these are looking great. They look quite uh, big to me. 
This is a beautiful painting. And then I think this one is a very nice one too. Wow. Only only problem is that like how I am gonna carry it. I think they can roll it if it's actually a possibility. But let's see if we have something small here. This lady having something uh, small size, such as such as this one, and this one has that gentleman coming out of the yurt. And there are two ladies on the right side. It shows like a different aspect. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Salamat mı? 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 On iki, on bir. On yedi, or on iki. Hadi bana at. On iki min, da? Da, da. Okay. So, okay. So, okay. The the real price is fifteen thousand, and they are giving on twelve thousand, which is basically almost thirty American dollars. And we also have the other ones here. This is a. Less detailed, but I really love uh, this option. I think I'm gonna get that. Are you sure Malinki is? Small? Ah, you have cats here. Hi! Cats, hi! Hello, cats. Wow, they are so big. Good morning. <laughs> that Malinki is? I'm looking for something small. Это. Окей. А, но я хочу этот. I want really this one. Окей, последняя цена. Двенадцать еще. Двенадцать. So it's a 19 to 27 centimeters. Okay, add it, пожалуйста. Rahmat. He's, uh, she's telling me I tried 10,000. She said it's really hard times. So let me see what I can do here for, for them. 12, we can give them 15, I think. А можно без рамки или? Да, так нормально, так да? носить там. А можно без рамки или на можно? А так не, не хотите? Не хотите? Так, иди, нормально. Okay. Да, чемодан можно. Да? А, Ничего не хотите. А у вас дача, да? А, бурда, он беш, он беш мим вар. Это для тебя. Да. А, сизин, рахмат. No, 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 no. Thank you, thank you, Rahman. Ah, спасибо, спасибо. Bye, bye. Azerbaijan. А ты? Казахстан. Иза, иза. Машала. Rahman, спасибо. Thank you. Bye, bye. Okay, we got a great deal, I think, for twelve thousand. Uh, even I tried to negotiate, she didn't go down, and I, and I was still planning to give them more anyway. Just a process to try out. We have also a little bit smaller version of here and they are looking beautiful too. Only problem is that where I'm gonna put them. That's the only problem I have. So 12,000 we paid 27 American dollars for this painting, which I'm gonna try to keep it, not to give this one to anyone. Might try to get a chance to send it back to home, possibly, or just carry with me until I get to somewhere normal <laughs> and uh, we'll see how things go. Anyway, 
This is the exploration of Almaty guys during the evening. Beautiful atmosphere, nice people, very clean. I love it here. All right, time to sign my sign out guys. This is the end of the video here. I'm gonna get some coffee probably. And then I will see you in the next videos from Kazakhstan. Thank you so much for joining until next time.